Hello everyone, it's Marilyn here. Welcome. I have a new video tutorial. I want to sh uh, show you how I create uh, this uh, mixed media layout, um, making different layers with different textures and mediums. I am using the new August Limited Edition kit by my creative scrapbook. This is the beautiful kit that you can see here and in the description box down below you will find the link uh, to get this kit. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to use um, some doilies that I made with a, a die, but uh, you can use a one like this one. This is a paper doily. I'm, I take the photo that I'm going to use. I just uh, place the photo where I want on the page and I'm, with the pencil I will make uh, marks around the photo. Okay, now I'm going to adhere uh, the doilies to the paper. I'm using gel medium and I apply gel medium with a paint brush and I uh, adhere all this doily. And once uh, I also apply the same gel medium uh, over the doily to seal it. And now I'm going to adhere a piece of the doily in the left side of the paper. You can see here. And once I apply uh, the gel medium over the doily, I will uh, cut all the excess. This is the uh, Saint Tropez collection by Prima Marketing that is featuring this one in the kit. And I also uh, adhere uh, the other part to the top. Uh, right of the paper. And now I apply a coat of uh, the same gel medium over all the paper. It acts like a primer. Here is when I will start to add more te uh, to build the textures and I'm using the stencil that comes in the kit. This one is from Prima and I'm playing with the design of the stencil to create like a like a movement in the page on the page and I apply modeling paste. This is modeling paste that I apply with the spatula. I'm going to add the uh, Prima flowers from the kit and uh, select all the beige and gold tones from this package. And I'm also adding uh, this piece. Uh, this will be my title and I cut out this from one of the paper. And uh, behind the flowers I already uh, put a piece of cheesecloth to create uh, layers. I adhere now the title. I just add a piece of cardboard behind the, the strip to create a, a little of dimension. And here I'm playing with the cheesecloth um, and adding uh, behind the title and creating uh, layers with it. I will continue adding uh, the cheesecloth around all the photo, title, and all the embellishment. I'm going to add some chipboard. You will receive a, a full package of this chipboard in the kit. And I also uh, cut out uh, a piece uh, from one of the paper, the, 
you will see that I will add now on uh, this piece uh, that say Paris if from one of the papers I add 3d dots uh, on the back to create uh, a dimension now I'm going to give color I'm using the oil pastel I want to bring the colors uh, from the photo to the uh, background so I, I'm, I am mixing uh, a orange with a brown here I first apply the orange uh, and I blend uh, both color with a paintbrush with water to uh, build uh, or to intensify the color I just apply one layer with uh, with a blend of these two colors I let it dry and then once it's dry I will build uh, a second layers until I get the orange and the tones that I want you will see now it looks uh, more like the photo and I will try I am trying not to paint the doilies because I want that the doilies looks lighter than the rest of the page so I apply only a little uh, of colors are uh, over but not uh, I don't want that the doilies uh, are dark uh, because in that way enhance uh, the beautiful designs uh, of, of this doily I will add uh, shadows and depth on the background and I'm using a black and purple color now. I just uh, blend the purple color first and then I will intensify the tone, the, the darkness with the black uh, oil pastel. I trace now the doilies with a with a black oil pastel. I want to highlight uh, the shape of the doilies. Uh, the best way to do it is uh, blend the dark colors around around them. Um, I'm using my finger to to blend the the oil pastel here, but I want that they look smooth. So I apply uh, then the brush with a little water to blend very well this area and I will do this in all the doilies on the background Okay, now I'm going to add texture paste to the background and I apply the texture paste with the spatula. I apply enough of this uh, paste because I want, uh, okay, let me explain you. This, uh, once this texture paste is dry, it would make uh, crackles on the background and it will dry completely clear. So uh, if you want to see uh, uh, a lot of crackle, I uh, I recommend you to apply enough uh, amount of this paste. Other thing that I uh, that I uh, that I found with this uh, paste is is for better result you let it dry overnight. Don't use the heat gun if you want to see a lot of crackles. Now I apply in the top uh, of the page here. Um, uh, before it dry, I will apply some art stones over the piece and then I will let it dry overnight. Okay, the page is dry and it takes like a little curves. So I decided to, uh, 
to put the page over a 12 by 12 chipboard and I get hit it. Now I will add uh, the other layers that I told you and this is a glitter in color copper. I uh, put a little of glitter with gel medium and I will mix these two products and you will see here I will make like a paste the glitter with gel medium and it's easier uh, in easier in that way to apply I just mix it and now I will add to the page and it gives a uh, nice textures on the background you can create layers with this uh, with this mix but I will let uh, once I apply uh, uh, this mix I will let it dry and then I will apply uh, other product you will see Okay, now that the glitter is already dry, I will apply uh, the micro beads. I just made the same mix, uh, gel medium with uh, the micro beads and mix it and I now apply over uh, the area. I wish that you can see uh, in person how awesome is all these textures. Uh, is uh, I'm sorry that you can capture uh, through the video, but uh, in person it looks uh, fantastic. I love how the glitters with the micro bits, uh, how they build these uh, layers of textures on the page. Finally, I add some white paint splatters and I already add here some pearls that you can see some uh, gold pearls and this is it this is my uh, page for today you can see here I will try to show you uh, all the layers and textures it's a little hard to see through the video but I hope that you like uh, that you find some inspiration in my video tutorial for today you will see now the closer photo uh, with better uh, you can see here better the colors because the light that I use for filming it makes uh, looks uh, the colors different okay remember that in the description box down below is the link to the kit and my social media and I come back soon with other video tutorial please if you like thumbs up no bemo bye bye